Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Conspiracy Take the Crown and where its prices are going to head. It has just absolutely tanked. Uh, there is no floor yet and uh, there's not a floor in sight. Uh, the issue here is it's an unlimited print run and as an unlimited print run, supply will only increase and it never really ends. Maybe it ends a year or two from now, but for the most part, people can order distributors as well as stores can order as much of this as they want they can reorder as many times as they want therefore the price of the cards will continue to go down opening packs should not be profitable uh, just by nature if opening packs was profitable then the stores would never sell you a pack they would just open it for themselves and sell the singles and make some money obviously there's the overhead cost of somebody opening it and organizing it but the logic is pretty much the same. I think it's a good concept. I think this is good for the game uh, because it really does make the cards cheaper. And there's not some, it's not bad cards that are becoming cheaper. Like Platinum Angel is a great EDH card for it to drop from seven to four. That's pretty great. Uh, Ghostly Prison for it to go down to, you know, from 10 to seven to four and a half. That's pretty awesome as well. And yeah, even looking at the Recruiter of the Guard, even the new cards, they will plummet more. We have not, this is not the end of the cards going down. This is only really the beginning because supply will keep hitting and hitting and hitting. Uh, what you have to know is most stores don't open their boxes and they are sitting on these boxes right now and they have to get rid of them because they need to have cash flow. They need to get rid of these boxes to get cash flow so they can get the new uh, Kaladesh box. And you might be able to pick up boxes really cheap and that's the opportunity here. Uh, just like Dragon Maze, I've always said this, Dragon Maze is my favorite set. And I'll tell you why, I've never seen a fat pack under $20. Dragon Maze fat packs at Dave and Adams and other online vendors have been under $20 until recently. Dragon Mage was a long time ago. I think it's actually pretty cool that you can get a fat pack for under $20. Uh, Dragon Mage is a little more expensive now because supply is finally like dwindled, but you could you can still get boxes of Dragon Maze online for $75, $76. And that's a very interesting price point because that's what the distributor sells it at. So Dragon Maze is a good example of a set that was so prevalent and so cheap and so inexpensive uh, and that's pra that's why i like it because you can literally have a draft give everyone a fat pack and not kill your budget uh, and dragon maze has been amazing i've drafted dragon maze so many times and i have a feeling that conspiracy will offer a very unique opportunity to buy cases for sub 480 um, i'm looking at you know 470 460 even uh, for a case Actually, a case is six boxes, but just like a sub case is three boxes. Conspiracy is kind of weird, but six boxes for under 480, which you can hardly ever do, but that's kind of where the price is heading right now. And I feel like it could even go down to stores taking a loss and selling me a case for 450. I'll, I'll take cases for 450 and store them and draft them eventually. That's a great draft set. So. Uh, I think this is great for players, not really great for stores, not really great for distributors, not really great for secondary market, but for as a player who likes to draft, and this is a fun, fun set, these boxes are going to be utterly, they will be sub 80, they will be sub 75, I believe, which means the distributor is likely going to take a loss, and I don't know where... It could be that they end up like Dragon Maze boxes selling at $70 one day. Yeah. <laughs> I can only wish because the set is way better than the Dragon Maze. Anyway, bye guys.